So, Mr. Davies, we had a little bit of difficulty on Thursday uh, trying to get this uh, to work right. I tried to, you know, show you a couple different things here, a couple different ways of doing this, and uh, with a little bit more clarity. And after looking at this a little bit more closely, this is what I would do. What I would do is have a, uh, a single feature in here and then do a linear pattern on one side, as I explained on Thursday, and then mirror that to the other side. I think it would take a lot less work. What you've done is you've created a lot of uh, sketch elements in here that would drive your design, which would be Boss Extrude 3. And let me uh, give you a suggestion here. Let's uh, begin to name our features in here so we can understand a little bit better. Uh, you know, when somebody's coming back and editing something like this, that they can navigate around your, uh, your part. So your Boss Extrude uh, 2 probably should just be like base, and Boss Extrude 3 be, should be spike, and then chamfer should be like maybe a spike point or whatever you might want to call that. Chaffer is probably fairly easily uh, definable and uh, easily understood, so probably don't have to go that through that far, but uh, you should uh, rename your features as best you can. Anyways, back to your uh, sketch. I would just do one sketch element, and then go from there. We'll do a linear pattern on this side and a mirror to the other side. One bit of caution here. I wouldn't put in all these uh, fixed relations. The problem with the fixed relation is you have to go back through here and change those again. You have to get rid of them in order to uh, better define your assembly or you're better to find your sketches here. It's just a lot of work to go through something like that. And uh, it's generally not uh, considered good practice because with these fixed relations in here, you can't edit them. So in order to drive your pattern in here, uh, you do have a uh, linear sketch pattern in here, which is okay in comparison to a, a linear pattern in a feature. A linear sketch pattern isn't as easy to uh, manage and make modifications to if you ever uh, feel you need to in the future. So what you have in here is you have a little bit of symmetry as part of the pattern. And here's your pattern symbol down here. That's a pattern sketch relation. If we, uh, and one way to better define this too, if you put just one or a couple different dimensions on uh, with the linear sketch pattern, uh, it will help define your features a little bit better. So now these are locked into place, and all we have to do is put a, a dimension on that, and it should be in pretty good shape. So that locks that, and then all the ones that are behind that will kind of grow, uh, you know, with a certain amount of pre predictability. But all you have to do with the linear sketch pattern is continue to dimension just one more element in here. 1.75 there, and still 1.25 there. And then all these are black. That's a lot better. That's a lot better method than putting fixed on all those, because these are editable. You can go back in here and change that, maybe make that 2, maybe make it 1.5, you know, that sort of thing. So we're going to keep these uh, dimensions in mind, 1.75, 1.25, and 2 inches here, and that's going to drive your pattern here. So what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate all these. And we're going to eliminate everything but, you know, that one. That one is fully defined right there. Okay. Go rebuild. We have that element in there. Now we're going to do a linear pattern. It's going to be a linear feature pattern, so we're going to establish the directions I showed you on Thursday. We're going to take our arrow and reverse that. Features to pattern, we're going to click on this and the chamfer too. For some reason, it thinks it's going down, but uh, no, it's actually going up, but we do need to increase the distance. So 1.75, I think, was the distance there. Elements, 4, 5, maybe. I think you had 5 in there. So that'll work out. Now we're going to do a direction 2. So with direction 2, we're going to click on an edge. We're going to define uh, the arrow, and it is going to go off in that direction. I believe that distance is going to be 1.25. And how many elements? Well, how many elements do we want to go in that direction? I think 4 is probably what we had, maybe 5. And then green check mark. And all those are there except for the chaffer. So let's go ahead and redo that linear pattern. And choose a chamfer in here too. So the boss extrude is in there. But uh, let's go in here and pick the chamfer too. So now the chamfer is going to be on all those elements there too. So that's a lot easier to do. And you can make edits to it. So if you want to change that instead of 1.25 to maybe just like one inch, you can do that. Add more elements in here. It's real easy to do, real fast. A lot easier to manage than a linear sketch pattern. And you can also uh, skip some instances in here too. So once you click in here, instances to skip, if you click on any one of these magenta balls in here, you can eliminate some of those. It gives you a little bit more flexibility. 
So now that we've done that, we're going to take a linear pattern and we're going to mirror that. So if we go up here to the mirror command, I believe the mirror command for you is probably under linear pattern. Go to mirror command, uh, mirror face or plane. What you want is that right plane, it always helps to have that symmetry in there. So what it's going to do is kind of take all these patterns in here, uh, which uh, consists of, you know, the boss extrude 3 and the chamfer in here is going to mirror them to the other side. So here in a couple mouse clicks, uh, we got this thing done in maybe about four or five different steps, rather than the 20 or 30 steps it would have taken if we would have uh, tried to do the very same thing using the linear sketch pattern. So I hope that helps. And uh, if you want to go back to the linear pattern and change some of these instances of skip, you could do that too. And now uh, that also reflects on the mirrored uh, surface over here. So that's how you do that. Hope that helps. We'll see you in class.